Hello. In this, uh, the fifth episode in the series, The Making of a Music Video, I want to talk about the things you need to actually make the video and edit it. Um, and I've listed 18 items which I think you might get. And I think I'm also going to say that the cost of these items in total is less than a thousand euros. And here's the list. Well, obviously, the first thing you need to have is um, editing software. And I've tried quite a few of those, including Movavi, Pinnacle, Adobe, and so on. But I've ended up with Movavi. I, I think it's not only inexpensive compared with some others, but it's also very easy to use, and um, I, I recommend it. You can find many tutorials on how to uh, use Movavi uh, on YouTube, so I'm not going to go into any detail about it here. And similarly, the next thing you will need to have is a website, because you'll need to catch uh, purchasers of money, and you'll need to tell the world about you. So. Uh, to do that, my recommendation is that you join Bluehost, Bluehost.com, and they will be able to provide you with WordPress. WordPress are behind probably 80% of the world's websites. They're very helpful. And again, there are so many books and videos about how to use WordPress that I'm not going to go into that here either. Well. Uh, you can use, you can make a video using modern phones. The quality of the photo, photography and vi videography on a new uh, generation mobile phone is perfectly okay. It's certainly adequate for the average video these days. So why not use your phone as your camera until you maybe decide to buy a camera? The, so you would need a phone holder to hold the phone and you will need a tripod to hold the phone holder. Um, and I can't re recommend any higher to try using a Benro tripod. Now they're much more expensive than the kind of uh, tripod normally offered in retail stores, but believe me, you won't regret it, um, especially if your store-bought tripod uh, fails during use, uh, and sometimes videos are shot in very tough circumstances, and you need a tripod which will stand up to all that, a tripod which will not move about, or by buffeted by the wind, and which will have features which you wouldn't get on a 30 or 40 euro tripod. So splash out on the tripod, you won't regret that if you're making video. Um, well, the next thing I, I recommend is to get um, an audio recorder so that you can record the audio separately from your phone. There's nothing worse, to be honest, than audio recorded by the camera. It, it just doesn't work. You're, you, if you use, and I recommend a Zoom H1N, uh, recorder, you'll find it has a number of features which will come in handy uh, later on and you can get near to your subject if you're let's say 10 or 20 feet away if you're shooting 20 feet away your camera won't pick up the audio anyway but if you have um, a, a, ben, a, a, a Zoom H1N that's the one I really recommend, They're about 100 euros to buy um, you will have the opportunity of putting that instrument right close to your subject, and that's one of the golden rules of videography. Get the audio close as you can to your subject. Okay, so there's that. Now, to capture all this, you will obviously need either SD cards or a means of uh, sending the work collected by your cell phone to your uh, laptop. And I'm assuming that you have a cell phone, and I'm assuming that you have a laptop. So I'm not going to bring those into the budget. But 
If you have a laptop and if you have a camera, you'll need to buy some SD cards. So get the best ones you can, um, extreme uh, quality. I also next recommend you get a, a green screen and make it. You can buy the material for probably 10 euros and you can buy the wooden frame for let's say another 30 or 40 euros and with the angles uh, in metal you can soon knock up a, 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 a green screen very much like this one behind me which if I tilt the camera you will see that it's clip, clipped onto the wooden frame with uh, clips, paper clips uh, which you can buy in the store for a few euros. So that's what to do. And you, that green screen will get you out of a lot of trouble because it will mean either that you can have a no background, as is this video, or you can put onto it whatever scenery you want filmed separately in other conditions. And that's a great benefit. So green screen. Now, when you have green screen, you probably need some lighting because uh, as I filmed tonight, the, the light's going. Fortunately, I'm using a, a camera which is good in low light, but normally you'll need to buy some lighting. Well, you can pay a lot for lighting or you can pay little. What I did was to make my own and with a, a plastic box, uh, good quality LED and a tr uh, uh, a control which can dimmer, a, a thoroughster dimmer which I fitted into the back of the box so I can control the level of lighting. A couple of those only cost you 30 or 40 euros to make. Um, so there's that. Uh, I also think you would not be wrong to get and buy in a stationery shop a jot book. I, I use it all the time. I write down things of, of pertinence to the video and I number the pages and make an index at the front. So as I put that down at five euros, sure that's not a bad investment. Um, you will also need to get a microphone, obviously, and I would say a condenser mic if you're working in the studio is your best bet with a spider. Look, they look a bit like this. There's the condenser mic. There's the spider, and with it, you'll need a de-esser or a, a, a thing that stops you spitting into the mic and cuts down the S's on your uh, uh, audio. Pop stop. Uh, so, and of course, if you've got a mic, you're going to need cables. So that's another item on my agenda. And it's always useful to have headphones um, to hear what you're actually saying while you're filming. So I put that on the list as well. And um, I also put on the list a keyboard. Now, keyboards can be any amount of money, but if you probably can get a good quality second-hand one for about 100 euros, it's a good investment if you've got a, a singer and you want to make sure that she's singing in tune, then the keyboard will obviously give you the notes in the right um, pitch. So there's that's on my list. Uh, then if you've got a mic you'll need a mic stand and if you've got a singer you'll need a music stand. So two more. And they're probably 30 or 40 euros each. Finally you need to be connected to a distributor like CD Baby, a distributor of that kind so that you can get your music out there. Now I'm going to talk about promotion in the next episode but I've added all that lot up and it came to 999 euros. Um, here's the, the list. Uh, obviously you could spend more. You could buy, as I have done and never regretted it, an Olympus TG5, which is such a robust camera, can collect in 4K, can go underwater, very versatile, can drop it six feet uh, onto concrete and it won't break. Good investment, you can get one of those for about 250 euros. Um, and you also you may be shooting more than one uh, with one more than one camera. And I recommend the Panasonics now, they don't do uh, 4K, they only do HD, but they do it in very good quality. And they've got a swivel 
uh, screen so you can see what they're doing if you're looking at the camera. Now the TG5, Olympus TG5 doesn't have that. So what I do is I put a mirror at the back of it and I can control and see what I'm doing by looking in the mirror behind this camera. Um, well, uh, you can get an audio interface. I won't go into the technical details of that, but it's a link between the microphone and the uh, uh, laptop and they that could set you back 150 euros. Uh, you could get uh, MIDI in and out, so you can uh, connect your keyboard to your laptop. And finally, if you want to really splash out, you could get an SLR like uh, we've got a, a Nikon 5300 and a Nikon 5500, but you're beginning to talk money there. And if you added those optional extras up, they would bring you to another thousand euros for sure. Anyway, I've, I've more or less covered the, the ground of what the things you're going to need. Now, the one thing I would say by way of advice is don't get frightened by all that. Modern software, editing software, is getting easier and easier to operate. And musicians are getting more and more in need of being able to promote their work on YouTube. And if I look on YouTube now, I see less and less very amateur uh, performances where the guy's filming in his bedroom or kitchen and that's pretty obvious from the background. Um, with a green screen you can put the background you want. Uh, and so I think it's important for any aspiring musician now to have at least a basic knowledge of how to put together um, a, a, a music video using some of the items I've mentioned in this one. And thanks for listening so far. Next episode, I'll start to talk about how you promote your work to the rest of the world. Thank you.